I'd like to talk about aperture and depth of field. We know that we can use aperture to control the amount of light that hits the centre. The larger the aperture, the more light what hits the centre. The smaller, the less. But we can also use this to control depth of field. Say I put my camera here and I was to focus in on this pepper pot and have a big aperture, aperture as big as it'll go, then it'd only focus into from about there to there, but on a 1.8 aperture. Now, the larger the number of aperture means the smaller the hole and the larger depth of field. But it doesn't just affect the depth of field to the back, but it also affects the depth of field in front of the object. So the larger we increase it, more and more things will come into focus. Even though we're not actually adjusting how we focus on the camera, we're still focused in on the pepper pot. As you can see in this example, the lens is in focus and is quite sharp. Whereas everything else behind it is uh, blared. It's not, not in focus whatsoever. But in the next example, with a higher aperture number, you can see the perfume bottle is more in focus. And this is how the depth of field with the aperture works. Now that we understand how aperture and depth of field works, we've also got to take into consideration that with a smaller aperture, or a uh, higher aperture number, we are letting in less light. And with this, we use the shutter speed. We take a longer exposure to compensate for the lesser light that we use with a higher aperture number.